Hi, this is uh, Numeric Citizen here. In this second video about Craft 3.0, it's all about mastering tasks. Before release 3.0, um, better task management has been a long time request by many, many, many users in the uh, Craft user community. And um, if we step back a little bit, when we were using tasks in a, a document, we would create some blocks with those here, with those um, uh, st uh, styling here, which is a checkbox um, block. And uh, people were, would create those tasks in many different documents, but there was no way to have an overview of your, all your tasks in your documents. But now with 3, version 3.0, it's quite, quite different. Uh, so there's this new uh, view here, which is called tasks. And this view gives you an overview of all your tasks and all your documents. So I'll explain a little bit before going deeper in how you create tasks and how you manage tasks in version 3. So there's this uh, notion of inbox here, where you can um, display the uh, tasks that are being created in um, not in a specific document, but this is kind of a global area where you can define tasks in craft. And then below here at the bottom, there is the docs with tasks uh, section, which will list all the documents in your um, space where there is a checkbox uh, block defined or created. And so this is how Craft will consider that you have a tasks or that you have tasks in your document. So here we have a three documents where there's a few tasks in each of them. And there's a, two things that you can do with those tiles. The first one is that you can click on the tile itself and it will list all the tasks in this specific document. You can go directly to the document itself by clicking this thumbnail here and then you'll see the content of the document and here we see the three tasks in in this uh, at the top of the document and also you can create a new task right from there where you'll enter this is a fourth this is a fourth task and then you get you, you create uh, click the create and then here you now uh, you now have four tasks. So this is how basically you will be managing the tasks in your uh, craft space. Uh, if you want to have a focus on a specific document, uh, you can have that by pinning this document here, for example, and then it will go in the pin uh, docs section. And so why is it important? It's very simple because um, when I first started uh, testing uh, this um, version uh, 3.0, as you might expect, I do have a lot of uh, documents in my environment and many of those documents contains um, the checkbox block inside of them. And I was kind of facing a long list of uh, documents with tasks in this bottom section. But if you want to kind of uh, have a better focus on those documents that are more important to you and which you want to maybe emphasize, then you can pin those uh, section here and just by adding those in the pin docs, you can also unpin the, uh, the, the document itself. So this is the basic way where you will be managing uh, or you will be getting an overview of all the tasks in your space. One of the first thing uh, that I did when I started testing this uh, release of Craft uh, is to visit all my documents that I uh, created in the past and then um, either check off the list the tasks that were not being uh, checked off on the list in order to uh, make those uh, tiles disappear or um, I used to use the checkbox block format to create a list of things that I might consider being important, but those lists were not always actual tasks that I wanted to, to execute or accomplish. So I decided to turn many lists of checkbox items into a bullet items list instead. And so mm, the number of documents from this uh, section down here uh, was greatly reduced and this is one of the things that you should consider doing when you start using tasks in order to be 
a better uh, have a better view and a better focus on what the things that needs to be done within your uh, craft environment so let me create a few tasks um, i'll create a new one here this is a new task and just hitting enter the task is created in the inbox and it is based on this methodology called uh, get things done where all the tasks that will be created and that don't they, they don't uh, that don't have any specific uh, context attached to them then they will kind of fall into this uh, inbox um, so you can create many different tasks another task in the inbox enter and so you have many tasks that you can create there and those tasks don't pertain to any other documents or daily notes this the, those tasks are kind of a global in your in your space if you go in this section here there's a document where you wanted to have a focus on on that and you can create a new task here then this is a, a fifth fifth task in the list enter and so the task will be created in this document but if i click on on this uh, document here uh, the tasks are added at the end of the list because there's nothing else in the in the document if i open this document there's uh, you have the list which is kind of weird because the the task that had been that the last task that has been added is at the bottom it's not at the bottom it's at the at the beginning of the list which is kind of a weird if you ask me so again another new task enter so it it goes at the at the top of the list and so if i click on it on this then you see the uh, list of tasks in this uh, document um, if I go back there, I can create a new task in any of those two documents. So let's see here. This is a new task. Enter. And so you see that there's a the, the, the task number, uh, the, the amount of uh, tasks has been increased by one. So I click on that and this is the, the list of current tasks that I have in those documents as well as in the inbox. So it's pretty simple thing uh, it's up to you to decide if this is something that you like if this is something that you can apply to your workflows um, personally the the way i'm trying to use tasks now in the version 3 is simple is all the tasks that are really focused on the craft environment itself which is about kind of meta tasks where i'm just kind of listing all the things that i want to do relating to tasks uh, to uh, craft itself this is where i'll be uh, managing the tasks in in craft anything else related to my uh, let's say my video production tasks or the articles that i want to write and there's a few things that i want to accomplish regarding those articles those tasks will be managed outside of craft itself so that's the way i decided to use um, the tasks feature in craft 2.0 now let's see how we can schedule tasks in the future um, so if i click on a specific task in the inbox i can just uh, click on this uh, menu there and you see this this things that goes away and if i click on that if i unselect that um, and I come back here, I select the, the, the task and there is this bottom um, um, kind of a menu bar or action bar. If I over here, you will see that the, the, the bar will move closer to the uh, ellipsis um, button here, which I find it cool. So if you want to use this, if you want to schedule this task, then you can come over here and then use the um, this uh, date picker like let's say i want to execute that tomorrow so this is this is where you will see that there is a date that will kind of be added at the at the forefront of the task itself i can do the same thing here i can uh, schedule that one for the next the day after and i can also select a deadline where i would like to have that executed before the december 7th so this is how you will select that and you see that the schedule and the deadline are displayed this way so as soon as you add some dates 
to your tasks, then this is how we, you will be able to go in the calendar view and those tasks will appear in this new uh, or updated daily uh, notes view. So tomorrow it's December 2. This is the tasks where the task where I, I decided to uh, execute there. And the day after, there's a new one, a new, another task. And also the uh, deadline is for December 7. But you see here, there's no nothing that appear in this date. So this is now how the tasks will be displayed when you are using the calendar view. And in this view, you can also create a new task, like for tomorrow, I can go there. Uh, this is going to be done tomorrow. And then you can click create, and this, this is where you will see. And as, as you enter a new task, then, this is a third one for that day enter you will see that the day itself will expand to make room for all the tasks that has been that has to be done on that specific day um, as soon as you create a new note a new daily note if i click on that then this is a daily note if i come back to uh, the calendar view this is how the daily note is displayed when you have tasks that ask, that are scheduled on the same day. So this is the, the new way of, of showing tasks and daily note in, um, in the craft version tree. Now let's see how things goes when you are uh, completing some tasks. Um, so you can mark those um, tasks completed like this one. Let's say I want to complete that one right now. So it will be checked off the list and you can do that also in the, the uh, pin documents where uh, you can selectively complete tasks from there. You can do the same thing when you click on that and you can just mark those tasks as completed and they will kind of be re removed from the list. And as you complete tasks, you can uh, go in the, um, if you go there in the docs with tasks, you can uh, you can just show completed tasks in the past and it should be working. No, it doesn't work like that. Show completed. If I go there, I show completed tasks. So you will see that all the tasks that has been completed in the inbox will show in the, what is called as a log book. Um, one thing that I want to tell you about, which is very important, is that let's say I want to create a new task. This is a task with uh, some data. Um, click on that. If I uh, go in, the, in this uh, task itself, a task itself is a document. It's, it's, a, it's kind of a page, actually. So this is some content. I can also insert um, an image, I'm on splash, whatever, I click on that. So I have an image in this task. If I go in the inbox, you will, you will see that this task itself has some content attached to it. Um, the thing is, if you click on that and the task will disappear, I can click on this here and show the completed tasks. Um, you can see that there is this document which is actually a task that has been completed there is some content but i don't have access to it right now from this view and there is no way as of this version which is 3.0.1 to go back and see what was the content in this task so the, the only way to achieve that is either you you kind of over the mouse over this task and you will see a peak of the content but the other way is to kind of uncheck this and then from there, you can go and open the task and see the content that was associated with the task. Um, it's not optimal in my view. Um, there's, there should be some way to um, access the, this data because I'm expecting that many users will um, enter a lot of information in a specific task. And by checking those tasks off the list, then you kind of lose access to this content. Um, the other thing is that when you select this and you show the view completed task, right now I, I only have five tasks completed, but what about this when it will be hundreds 
of tasks completed. Um, I'm not sure this is the best way to display the logbook. It might be, maybe it should be uh, accessible in some other ways, but I don't think this is the, the right way to do it right now. So that's the way you will kind of check off some tasks from the list. Obviously you can do that from here and then those views will be updated uh, accordingly. And you can, by the way, see the progress uh, progression of all those tasks completed in all those documents, which is kind of cool, actually. Um, yeah, so this is the way you will uh, complete tasks in in this in, in this view. Now on the iPad, the the uh, the overall user experience is pretty much the same as on the Mac, um, but I'm using the iPad here to show the integration with Apple Reminders. Um, so the integration has been added at the very end of the beta phase of version 3 and so it's very basic integration for now so if you want to have access to the uh, reminders within craft how it works is that you go in the um, here in this section in the inbox and then you sh you show the you view the task from apple reminder reminder so i'm not going to select that right now because i don't want to show uh, some personal task that i have in in Re apple reminders um, but as as soon as you select that it will request you to have the permission to access the tasks and then they will be shown here in this inbox, but they won't be actually imported into Craft itself. So you, you have to decide to import, the, import those tasks from the Apple Reminders and into Craft itself. Um, one thing is that recurring tasks are not imported as is, so they will kind of have a single instance for each recurring tasks. Um, also, if you want to disable um, as the access, um, you uh, you will have to go back to the um, the, the the permission uh, section in the settings of um, the iPad to remove the access uh, of uh, the re uh, reminders from the uh, from from Craft itself. It's not very user uh, friendly. It's kind of hard to understand how you will actually get access to those reminders. But once you know it, it's 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 okay. Um, the other thing is that you cannot select the list um, that you will be importing or that you will be viewing. So it will show you all the tasks that are in Apple Reminder. Um, it's not really cool because some users might. Uh, prefer to have a, a better control of what are the tasks in reminders that will be shown and then eventually be imported into craft. So this is how it is the, done right now. Uh, this is version 3.0 and I'm guessing this will be improved in future releases. Uh, but this is right now, this is uh, what it is. So basically the tasks in um, the iPad app is pretty much the same. Um, you will click on that to see the list of tasks that are available to you that you can uh, complete from there. You can also open the doc itself and then you can come back. Um, the other thing is that you can click the thumbnail to have access to the document instead of showing the list. Um, the other thing that did, I didn't show right now is um, you can just by clicking on that here there's a menu that you can select to um, cancel the the tasks that has not been completed in this list uh, if and you can do that um, in one stroke you can also um, um, mark those uh, unfinished tasks as completed and so this is how it will be shown right here i can come here and also I can select to move the remaining tasks and it says not yet implemented. This is version 3.0. It's not finished, I would say. And, um, and by the way, there's quite a few bugs in, um, in the way the tasks are being created and displayed in the, in the inbox uh, view. And for those who will see that tasks are not showing once you create new tasks, um, I would suggest you to kind of quit uh, craft and come back to um, to see if the tasks ap appear in in the inbox. Uh, this is a bug that I, I that I have experienced myself, but others uh, other people also um, reported that in the uh, Slack community. Um, 
The other thing that is nice, and it's also available on the uh, Mac version and the iPhone, I guess, is the plus sign here where you can quickly enter a task from uh, this specific um, area. And so it's, it's very uh, fast to enter a task from there. Um, by the way, there is no um, shortcuts, Apple shortcuts action uh, yet that, that are supporting the tasks uh, creation or management. I'm guessing that it is coming, but I think the, um, there's some lag in the development of uh, shortcuts action in Craft. Um, and it, it has been a long time since we didn't have any updates on that uh, front. Um, and by the way, this is the same thing here. You can create a new um, daily note here by clicking on this on this uh, icon there. So it's pretty handy to uh, be able to uh, use those shortcuts to uh, create new daily notes or new tasks. So it's pretty much how you will be managing tasks uh, with the iPad. It's pretty much the same. And I think the design in that is nice and pretty consistent with the one that you will get if you use the Mac version. Now I want to show you something that is very important is that if you have a document which contains cards which are actually page but they are displayed in a specific way um, if you click on that card you will see that this task itself uh, is actually being shown in the tasks overview it's not right there, it's not in this pin box because uh, this, the document itself has not been pinned. If I go there, uh, there is no uh, pinning option available in this view. Um, so you have to go back in the tasks and if you click on, the, the, on this tile, then you will see that the task that, is been create, that has been created in the card itself will show up in this view. And so it means that Craft will kind of uh, bring up all the tasks in all the different places, all, all, uh, in all the documents, page or cards, they will show up in this list here. Um, but sometimes you have to kind of uh, rem uh, remember that this is uh, how you access all the, the tasks in your documents. So it works pretty well. Um, but it's, to me, it's not optimal because you see that the, the, the base um, model for task management in Craft is the fact that tasks actually are some kind of page or document, and, but they are displayed in a specific way. Um, so either you like it or you don't like it. Uh, it's up to you. Um, but it is what it is. Finally, to complete the overview of uh, task management in Craft 3.0, um, if you go in the updated uh, design um, calendar view, there is this, this uh, button here where you can just decide to kind of hide uh, daily notes from this view, or you can also hide uh, tasks itself, which is a, um, a different view. And I, I kind of like it, by the way. Um, you can also show previous days and see all the uh, daily notes before, or you can also um, uh, show uh, previously completed tasks and that you can click here. Again, this is not the best way, I guess, to display uh, dozens and dozens of completed tasks. Um, and so you can also click and show events. If you have those enabled, you can select a specific event, uh, a specific calendar from Apple Calendar, and then you can have those showed in those um, tiles for each day, depending on your calendar uh, content. So this is the updated view of uh, the, the calendar view and also how it blends itself with um, tasks uh, management. Before completing this uh, overview of mastering tasks in Craft 3.0, um, you might wonder if I decided to use Craft for all my task management. And the short answer is no. Um, I've been, um, I'll be keeping using Things 3 uh, as a task management application because I think it's more um, focused on very simple things, which is managing task. Um, I do like the uh, some of the uh, new features in, for managing tasks in Craft, 
but as I said earlier in the video, I plan to use tasks in craft only for things very um, uh, associated or focus on the craft itself, the craft, my craft environment itself. Um, I'm not going to manage my writing um, or my publishing uh, uh, pipeline. I'm not going to use craft for managing uh, all the tasks related to uh, maintaining my website or producing videos itself. Um, I really want to keep those separated. By the way, if you want to use a task management uh, app like Things3, you can always copy deep link from a specific area in craft and paste that link into a task note in things and so you can really easily switch between things and craft and come back as an example of that i have here a list of tasks that i'm uh, accomplishing for creating a new edition of the ephemeral scrapbook newsletter and if i click on the for example the apple uh, highlights section so there is a this section in in the newsletter if i click on that you will see that i'll go directly to my um the the specific section in the newsletter and then i can uh, start writing um, or maybe editing some text in this block so to me it's very easy it's not a, a matter of um, um, context switching I, I don't believe in that I mean if you are using a big screen you can have things on, on one side and craft on the other side and then you can switch between the two and not really feeling the switching between those two um, by the way if you go in the tasks here and you have to go back in this here you are actually doing some context switching anyway so what's the problem of switching to the to another app uh, sitting just beside craft I, I don't see that as a big problem so again I'm not going to um, drop things three for managing tasks because of uh, three, uh, craft 3.0 um, because of the new features in craft 2.0 but nonetheless I think it's a great addition for those who wants to manage some tasks in, within craft but yeah this is what it is so that's it for today's video for uh, mastering tasks in craft 3.0 I hope that you learn a few things along the way and um, that I hope that this video gave you a, a great overview of how you could manage tasks in craft um, so thanks for being there and watching until the very end if you don't subscribe to my youtube video it's time to subscribe now so you don't miss the next one which will be about collections and i guess that you don't want to miss that one so thanks for being there and see you soon bye